welcome to this broadcast. I am Nitin Gokhale, and with me today is a special guest coming all the way from France, Stefan Veswal, Senior Vice President for Sales and Marketing for Airbus Space. He is visiting India on uh, a familiarization visit uh, after a long time. Uh, in fact, uh, he is not unfamiliar to India. He has spent four years in Bangalore working with uh, the ISRO uh, between 2006 and 2010. So, knows India very well, but it's a new role uh, that uh, he is here and uh, he is uh, on an exploratory visit, one can say. So, uh, he's here to talk about uh, the Indian space. Sector. Welcome to this broadcast. Thank you very much, Nidhan. Stefan, uh, let me start with this, uh, you know, one very obvious question. You watched the Indian space sector now for more than 16, 17 years, uh, up close. Uh, where do you think is the Indian space sector at the moment? Is it poised for a big takeoff? Is it uh, now being revived? Uh, how do you describe it? So I think, first of all, uh, the Indian space program has always been a, a bit of an inspiration when you look at uh, how it was created uh, originally. And I think that we are coming uh, at a very interesting uh, time now. Uh, we see a, a big new impulse, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that uh, I have to uh, acknowledge here uh, really the, the new initiatives which are getting launched by, uh, by the government of India, certainly with the, the new space policy which has been issued, the creation of New Space India Limited, also the big momentum which is being created by InSpace. This is really providing a new environment for us and as an industry to really get involved next to our partners. Right. And uh, Airbus has, of course, worked with this row. You, we yourself have worked with this row uh, so often. Uh, what has been your experience as far as technical knowledge is concerned? And where do you think Airbus can uh, add value to what exists in India? It was a great experience. Uh, as you mentioned, I mean, we built satellite together. We launched a satellite together. I mean, we started back in 2012 uh, from memory, uh, launching uh, some Earth observation satellites on the on PSLV. What we can see is a, is a very strong connection. I mean, we do have, a, we do have the same background. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, certainly uh, developing through the collaboration that we had with ISRO also was a great opportunity to get introduced to the uh, Indian industry, develop also some relationship and some uh, opportunities for uh, collaboration. I mean, uh, I was end of last year also witnessing uh, the new uh, inauguration of the uh, integration facilities at Anand Technologies. I think uh, we are seeing a great momentum for, uh, for furthermore. Right. So what expertise, uh, what do you think, uh, as I wanted to ask you, was what is the value addition or what is the collaboration that Airbus can think of as far as the Indian private sector is concerned in space? What we see, uh, you know our background, I mean uh, our background uh, is quite, uh, quite global in terms of uh, the space domain, either in terms of what we produce, I would say, from uh, equipment up to uh, satellite and uh, also uh, collaborations in the, in the areas of uh, launching. So we have, exp we have opportunities in the full scope. We are also quite uh, in, in involved into the services uh, area. So the model that we are seeing here, it's really a model of collaboration and uh, really model of collaboration partnerships, creating the link with the growing uh, Indian industry, which is uh, emerging. I mean, I did mention the Anand technology, which is certainly one of, one of the uh, strong players. So really focusing on private industry, and uh, industrial collaboration. True. Uh, you also must have been aware, I'm sure you've been made aware uh, of, uh, you know, a new ecosystem of startups uh, coming up in the space sector. And uh, they seem to be quite, uh, you know, um, sort of uh, very kicked about uh, what they can do and what they should do. So in that uh, respect, how would you encourage uh, the startups in the space sector? I'm sure uh, Airbus has some program to encourage them. Definitely very lively, mm -hmm. I think, and it's a picture which is uh, changing and growing uh, by the day. For that, a major milestone also for us has been uh, the creation of the uh, Airbus Innovation Center in uh, February in Bengaluru. Mm -hmm. And that's really where we want uh, to, uh, to nurture or to really identify opportunities to, for real disruptive uh, projects into this uh, industrial uh, uh, landscape. 
building on all the skills, of course, which are uh, being developed uh, here in India. So this innovation center is going to play a central role. Right. And what is your view on uh, the expertise or skills in the Indian startup ecosystem or even in this, the bigger space players? Are they enough or they need to have more people coming in? Uh, what is your uh, sort of assessment of their skills? I think it's a bit of a working progress uh, in that domain. Uh, I was uh, last week at the uh, France-India uh, Business Summit mm -hmm. and uh, I was quite interested in the expression that uh, uh, Minister of Trail, uh, Trade, Mr. Gael, uh, was using. He said, uh, India, it's all about uh, speed, scale, and skills. And uh, definitely skills is the major topic. Sure. I mean, uh, when you see the level of a uh, number of engineers which are uh, getting, uh, 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 coming to the market uh, here in India, I mean, that this is really where we want to tap into innovations and uh, uh, innovating together. Right. And uh, the other uh, area of uh, interest now in India has been uh, the use of, uh, or say, space application in uh, the defense sector, uh, particularly because India is now you know, sort of uh, looking at defense much more uh, seriously and has many challenges on the defense front. Uh, how would Airbus help uh, the India's uh, defense space application uh, if it needs to you know, sort of collaborate with companies here or with the government here? Definitely a major uh, area uh, of collaborations. I mean, uh, when you see uh, all the different uh, activities, we are already quite active and certainly uh, mainly uh, on the in the domain of uh, services for uh, Earth observation and what we generally call uh, geospatial uh, activities. This is already, I would say, uh, well underway. There are also still quite few domains in which uh, we still need to, I would say, to, to investigate for further co collaborations. And I think uh, in that domain, we, we still see quite some potential in terms of making India all the work that we are doing on the constellations and uh, what we have industrialized uh, through uh, our, uh, what we called ARO, it's uh, derived productions from uh, our uh, OneWeb uh, products and, uh, and platforms. This has all great potential in uh, defense uh, missions and security services in India. Sure. So you are here on a visit, as I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, what is your uh, main uh, purpose of this visit, particular visit to Delhi? The, uh, the visit, uh, the objective is twofold. I mean, uh, indeed, uh, uh, I think that uh, here with uh, government, uh, with government stakeholders, uh, really building on the on this momentum that we are seeing in this uh, in the industry and uh, in this uh, emphasis which is being put on the uh, Make in India initiative, I think that we have great opportunities to to offer here, thanks to our background in terms of knowing India and collaborating with India, but also with the products that we've got, especially on the constellation side, to really develop strong partnerships and to really also. Uh, have this uh, private industry uh, collaboration uh, to support the Make in India initiative. Oh, that's that's great to know, because that's the emphasis, as you said, in India today, is Make in India becoming self-reliant in everything that is needed for defense or for India's progress. But let me uh, widen the, and perhaps this is the last uh, question that I have, widen the scope of the discussion and ask you, uh, what are the uh, big challenges that you see for the space sector? Given that it's now a space race uh, amongst uh, big nations, uh, you know, in both in terms of uh, sending satellites into the uh, outer space and using satellites for uh, defense uh, needs or defense purposes, what are the big challenges that you see going ahead? Quite a number of these. I mean, uh, as you see today, I mean, space is everywhere yeah. uh, in, in our life. I mean, uh, when we drive uh, and so on. And even when we, you see the big challenge that uh, the world will have to face in terms of climate change and, uh, and so on, I mean, space has a huge, uh, huge role to play. Mm -hmm. We are seeing that the industry is going through tremendous transformation, not only as an industry in terms of manufacturing, but also uh, our customers as uh, operators. They are changing their business model. Uh, we are seeing also everything which is happening in the constellation business. In that respect, uh, so one of the challenges, of course, to see how do we uh, manage that transformation mm -hmm. and a key role also that we are seeing in, that, in this landscape is the role of the, uh, these government programs, which really gives 
uh, an ambition, a vision, an impulse, because what this industry really requires, it's also some long-term visibility, because it is about investment, it is about developing technology. So this, uh, these programs are a, have a very, very fundamental role on how they structure and shape the industry. Well, that's, uh, I think, uh, multiple uh, challenges there going forward, but I'm sure Airbus with its uh, strong background and also legacy in, in space is going to be one of the leading players or perhaps the leading player, but uh, best of luck for that. And uh, I wish uh, all the good luck to you for all the projects you have in India going forward. Thank you for this time and your patience. Thank you very much. And uh, we look forward to all these discussions and uh, making uh, make in India a success for space. Hope so too. Thank you.